I don't know why that is. Maybe it does. That's so weird. Should I try logging on again? Uh, maybe. So, as I have you guys' attention, before I get started, welcome everyone. Um, just a quick thing, you know, Cool Hot Yoga has been offering live streaming classes. So, this is the last one for today. Tomorrow morning, you've got 10 a.m. Zumba, 4 o'clock of yoga for kids about 8 to 12, and then 6 p.m. a restorative yoga. So, 10 a.m. Zumba, yoga for the kids at four, and then you've got a um, ten, uh, restorative at six o'clock. So we're gonna get started. Hopefully no one, everyone mute, I'm gonna mute you all. And um, yes, let's get going. So we're gonna start standing actually. One of my favorite ways to start, you're gonna grab your band. I just need to turn this this way so you can see me better. There we go. You're gonna wrap the band if you have or the leg of your tight. Arms up. You're gonna stretch the band behind you. And then you're gonna bring the band forward, scoop your abs round your back. Reach those arms up and behind you, arch your back, and then scoop and round it forward. Good. So I'm going to turn side. You're going to arch your back, feel it, and then scoop and round. Nice. Arch your back, stretch, and then scoop and round. Two more. Arch your back, so it's like a cat cow stretch standing. One of my favorite ways to stretch, actually, is with that band. Nice, one more. This time, arms up, straighten your legs. Good. Reach your arms over to the right, feel that stretch. Bring your body center. And then you keep that right arm straight as you stretch to the left. So I'm feeling the stretch of my right side body. Bring your arms up again and stretch. So we're engaging our core. Nice. Bring it up and over. Bring it up. Hold to the right. Turn your body to the right. Lower your hands towards your ankle. Feel that stretch. Reach your arms up. Hold center. Your left arm comes down. You turn your body left. You reach for that left ankle. Bring your arms up and over to the right. Turn right, lower. And lift, good. Bring it back to center. Good. Bring it over to the left side. I have to fix something I did. Make sure you're all muted. Even though I muted you all. I wish I had that power at home. Hit mute on my kids right now. Turn. Up. Over, stretch, turn, nice. So now I'm just going to add a little bit more. Reach right, down, around, center, up, good. Reach left, down, around, center, up, good. Right, down, around, and up, good. Left. Down, around, hold center, scoop in your abs. I know where my music like. And good, feel that stretch. Nice, gonna put my band down to the side. Gonna try and see what's going on. Nice, I probably hit something on the 
spider fight two roll. So you're gonna inhale your arms up, and then exhale, just let your body hang like a rag doll. Don't try reaching for the floor right now. It's about loosening it up. Give me some circles. And then reverse your circles. Hold. Scoop in your abs. Slowly roll it up. Inhale your arms up. Exhale, fold at the waist. So just let the body hang like a rat dog. Feel that roundness in your spine and the scoop in your abs. Good, now scoop in, slowly roll it up, articulating through your spine, shoulders back and down. Nice. Inhale your arms all the way up. Good. Exhale, fold up the waist. Good, hang like a rat dog. Each time, our fingertips are getting closer to that floor. Scoop in your abs. Slowly roll it up. Nice. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Good. And this time, reach for the floor. If you need to bend your knees, bend them. Walk your hands out to a plank position. If you can, you can give me one push up. Knees up or down. Elbows up close. Press up. Hips up. Feel that stretch. As you walk your hands back towards your feet, pause, hold, maybe you need to bend, it's okay. Scoop in, ground, remember, you're not there yet. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold at the waist. Reach for the floor, maybe it's just your fingertips now. Walk your hands to a push-up position. Knees up or down, one push-up. Elbows up close, press up, knees up, hips up, fold, and walk it back. Each time we're lengthening now these hamstrings. Round it up, good. Come all the way up. Inhale your arms up. Exhale, fold at the waist. Walk it out to a push up position. One push up, press up, hips up, walk it out. You got one more. Feeling the lengthening of our hamstrings. Inhale up, last one, exhale, fold. Walk it all the way up. Remember where you started each time. We're getting a little bit more length. Press up, hold. Bring your forearms down to the mat. Hold it here. You're just holding that plank. I want you to start to feel your core engaging. Press through those heels to feel the stretch behind your hamstrings and your calves. Nice. You got four, and three, and two, and one. Sit back into a child pose and stretch. I gotta see what's going on with my music here. Um, I think I know what's going on, but I don't know how to fix it right now. Good. So, each time I'll just go back to it. You're gonna grab your band here. My music went off, so be it. We don't need music. It's okay. I'll sing for you. No, I won't. Nice. So we're gonna take that band around the ball. That's the front part of your foot, the ball of your right foot. Nice. You're gonna lie yourself all the way down on the mat. So if you don't have a band like I have, you can use a stocking or you can use the belt, not ideal only because it doesn't have elasticity. My elbows are hugging into the mat. Press my legs straight out and bend it back in to a tabletop position. Press that leg straight out and bend it in. So I want you to think about your abs as you press out. And I'm sorry about the music that happens. This is live, you know, so 
You just gotta go with the flow, people. And I suggest if you do need music, well, put on some, right? Put on what motivates you right now. Maybe that's a sign right now that you guys need to pick music for yourselves. And whatever I say, it's just the background. So my leg presses out to that tabletop. Now I've been doing a lot of walking outside. This feels really nice on the ball of my foot and my arch. I'm also engaging my abs. So I'm stretching the leg, my hip flexor, and good. And I'm working my core. You got four more just like this. Nice. Exhale, three. Good. I'm the one that needs the music right now. Two. You got one more. Hold that leg out, hold. Now I'm just gonna change my grip. Oops. See, that's how you know it's loud. Just gonna change my grip so my palms face each other. Lift your right leg straight up to the ceiling. Flex that foot hard. Feel that stretch behind that hamstring. Point that toe. Flex that foot hard. Uh, that feels so good. Now, the goal is to straighten out that leg. Some of you, maybe you can't. That's okay. You're gonna have plenty of time to work on your Pilates. This is a Pilates stretch class, so it is slightly different than my traditional Pilates or my traditional, not traditional Pilates. Good. This time, you're gonna hold that foot flex, hold, and lower that leg straight down and up. Nice. Straight down and up. Each time that you bring that leg up, pull it slightly closer to you. Feel that stretch in the back of that right leg. Feel the length in that hamstring. Nice. You're gonna lower that leg and exhale to lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. You got four more just like that, people. Four. Nice. Three. So if you're just joining me, I'm gonna apologize that there is no music. Because I don't want to deal with the music. I want to just give you guys the workout. And if you need music, just put on music. Because this was live. Two more. Nice. One more. Good. You're going to lift that leg up. Flex that foot. Hold. You're going to bring that right leg over the left for circles. And back to center. I want you to think about the letter D. Right? Okay. So, we go across the left leg, down through center, and up. There's no wiggling in my hips. My hips are anchored. Good. Keep going. Bring it down, around, and up. You got to bring it down, around, and up. Nice. Last one. Good. Now hold. Instead of going reverse, I want to go mirrored so we can open up that hip flexor. So I want you to open up that, oh my God, those hip flexors. Open that leg to the right, swing it forward and up. So I'm just going to a mirror, right? A mirror is a reflection. So it's just the opposite. Good. I open that leg out to the right, Bring it down through center and up. Good, so I'm opening up that hip flexor. But again, my left hip is anchored. Nice. Open it out through center and up. One more time. Open around through center and up. You're gonna bring that leg back to that tabletop position how we started. You're going to bring your palms to face each other. You're going to lift your head up. You're going to lift that left leg up. And you're going to alternate. Nice. So, now that we got a little more length out of that hamstring, can you lift your head up and engage your core a little bit more? If this is really too much for you right now, keep your head down. If you happen to have a ball or a pillow handy, you can always put it underneath your head. You got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. 
five, four, three, two, and one, release. Nice, so we're gonna switch. Good, so I'm bringing the band to the ball of my left foot, just opening this up a little. Sometimes with these bands, they get a little sticky. So I'm just opening it up. Nice, good. So my leg's in a tabletop position. To start, my right leg is down, long. My left knee is bent, good. Just pressing that leg out and in. So this is a great way to start warming up our hip flexors here. Good. Stretching out those hamstrings, which we already warmed up, and we're engaging our core. Nice. Exhale and inhale. Exhale, inhale. Nice. You got it. Four more counts. Four. Good. Three. Two, one more, hold that leg out, lift that leg straight up, ouch, point, and foot. So a couple of you that just joined us, um, I can't figure out why my music just went out, and I don't want to waste time. So if you need music, and I totally get it, I do too, I'm jonesing right now, just, you know, put on whatever moves you, and you have music, right? Four, so we're stretching and we're pointing. We're flexing and we're pointing. One more, this time we're gonna hold the flex, hold. Good, you're gonna lower that leg straight down and up. So for me, I like to just change my grip a little here. If it feels okay for you, that's fine. If you're not using the tight or the band and you're using, let's say, the back row belt, you won't have the elasticity here. So just do the best you can to get that stretch right here is where you want to pull it a little closer. My left hamstring is not happy with me today or right now, but it will be when class is over. It's going to feel awesome. Good. Straighten out that leg, flex to lower and lift for four. Nice. Three, so good. Two, you got one more. Hold that leg at the top, hold. Now we're gonna cross the left leg over the right, down through center, and up. So these are just little traditional leg circles from Pilates. So I want you to be mindful that your hips are not rocking and rolling here. They're anchored down, and you do the best you can. There you go. Over, down through center, and up. Over, down through center, and up. The movement's also coming from your core, so remember to engage it. You got two more like this, and then we're going in for a mirror. Not reverse, but mirror. Good, last one. Hold it at the top. So we're mirroring ourselves. Opening up the leg nice and wide, bring it around through center and up. Really feel right here that opening of the hip flexor, bring it around and up. This is great for all you people that say, oh my God, I'm so tight. Or a lot of runners, walkers, spinners, or just those of you that sit on your ass all day. This is good for you too. Nice. Make, be mindful of your breath as well. Inhale, exhale as you bring it around. Nice, two more. Bring it around, good. One more, you got it. And good. Bring that leg back to tabletop. Change your grip if you need. Lift your head up if you want. Lift your right leg up and then alternate single leg. So good. Abs are in. Nice. You got it. You got four more. Four. Three. Looks good to me. Two. One more. Ah, uh, so good. Lower your head down. 
So, my feet are coming to parallel. Ball, the balls of both my feet are now with the band. My elbows are anchored, and this time I'm gonna press both legs out and in. So it's more of a um, ab work here, but I feel a nice stretch of my feet, which really need the love. You can keep your legs, your head down, but those of you that want to advance, you're gonna lift your head up, anchor those elbows. That will help take the tension off your neck. Exhale, press out, inhale, bring in. Exhale, press out, inhale, draw in. Exhale, press out. Of course, if you need support, always feel free to grab a ball or a pillow. Maybe you need a couple of pillows. Good, pull in those abs, lengthen those legs for four. Good, feet are parallel. We're mimicking footwork here from the reformer. In three, good. Two, last one, hold. Nice, press your legs out, in, out, in. Can you keep your head lifted? If you can, great. If it's bothering your neck, put your head down. You're feeling the connection between your abs and your legs. For four, three, two, and one, release it down. Nice. So I'm gonna keep the ball of my feet separate. My heels come together and I bring the heads of the band to the inside of my thighs. Good, I'm going into froggy. Press your legs out, bend to bring in. Press your legs out and bend to bring in. So remember, if you're just joining me, feel free to put music on on your end because my music went down and like, I, I know you guys are sick of this, but I just want to make sure that people understand what happened here. Something happened with my music and I don't want to deal with it because I want to just work you guys out. Those of you that want, lift your head up for froggies, engaging your core a little bit more. So when those knees come in, it feels kind of nice on those hip flexors. Good, feeling those inner thighs as well because there is a connection in our thigh, lower pelvic floor muscles. Good. Exhale and breathe for eight. Nice. Seven. Good. Six. You got five more. Five. Four. Three. Two more. One more. Hold the legs out and open, close. Those heels keep drawing back to each other. You got eight, lift up higher, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release it down, nice. So we're gonna go for roll up. Using the band is actually an assistance. My feet are anchored, good. And I'm going to slowly bring my chin to my chest and roll all the way up. Nice. Scoop in your abs and slowly lower it down. Those of you with the band, if you're having trouble coming up, tighten your grip. The more resistance you have here, the more assistance you have here. So that will help you, those of you who struggle with roll up. It's a great way to practice on your own. You can always slowly loosen it up to where you're not even really using it. Good. We're going to go one more time and we're going to add a little bit of arm work to this, which really is stretching our hamstrings. So we're going to come all the way up. As I come up, I press my arms back. Whew! I need a breath here because my hamstrings are on fire as I hinge. Then I bring my body back up to center, lift my elbows, and come down. Those of you familiar with performer, this is very familiar territory. You come all the way up, hinge forward, press back, anchor those heels, flex those feet, and feel that hamstring stretch. Bring your body up nice, and slowly lower yourself all the way down. Inhale, exhale, come up, 
Hinge forward, hold, feel that stretch. Good, bring your bodies back to uh, upright and then lie yourselves all the way down. Sorry, I just thought someone was waiting in the waiting room again. Cause again, more things that us, you know, challenge older people have to figure out because our children are not here to help us. Good. One more time. Bring it up. Bring it back down. Nice. Come all the way up. Hinge forward. Feel that stretch. And release it down. Nice. So we're up here. You're going to come halfway back. Belly is scooped. Back is rounded. We're going to twist left arm up. Pull that right elbow back. Come back to center. Reach that right arm up. Pull that left elbow back. Come back to center. Nice. Right elbow back. Left arm up. Bring it back to center. Good. Left elbow back. Right arm up. Bring it back to center. Four more. Four. Good. Back to center. Three. Back to center. Two. One more. Back to center. Hold. And we're just going to pick up the pace for eight. Seven. Six. Five. You got this. Four. Three. Two. And one. Release it down. Nice. Good job. So, we're going to take our left foot out. Only our right foot is in the band. You're going to hold on to the band with only the right hand. So the right hand's holding both ends of the band or you're tight. You're going to pull back that right elbow and reach it forward. So think bow and arrow, right? Pull back. Now I'm twisting through my torso. So I'm not coming up and down. I'm simply twisting through that torso. My right elbow pulls back and I reach forward. My right elbow pulls back and I reach forward. Good. Right elbow pull back and forward. Right elbow pull back and forward. Two more. Right elbow back and forward. Right elbow back. Hold. You're going to take your left hand to the band and pull the elbow back to the pulse. So I'm holding here. I'm drawing in that right oblique for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release. Come up. Nice. If you just joined me again, I can see on Instagram um, from a distance, my music went out, so feel free to put on your own. Good. We're going to um, bring that left knee in, and your right hand, again, is still holding the band. Lift your right foot off the mat, open it out for abductor, draw it in for that adductor. So again, we're working into our muscles. So we're working the abductor and the adductor, inner outer thigh, but also we are stretching. So things to look for. I don't want you opening up where your hip flexor is showing. The range is smaller than you think. You want to keep that burn while getting that stretch. So you really have to be mindful of that. Flex your foot, good. Open it out and draw it in. Open it out and draw it in. Nice. You got four more just like this. I'm hugging my left leg with my left hand. Because this being up, towards the ceiling, your knee pointed up. That's the right alignment here. Four more, four, good, three, two, and one. Excellent. Now we're gonna come down to lie on our left side. I'm still keeping that band in my um, right hand. My right hand is down to the floor, not up here, not lifted. You need that anchor. Good. 
I'm gonna bend my left knee in towards my shoulder to a 90 degree angle and then press out. Good. So why did I start with that um, torso twist to the right? Because here when you're doing side leg series, I'm also engaging my obliques and we love our obliques, but it is a Pilates stretch class. So I am also going for that stretch right now. Bend that knee in, draw it in, and then exhale, press it out. Bend that knee in to draw it in, and then exhale, press it out. Good. Often I'll use a weight to hold. I forgot to take one, but I do find it helpful to um, bring your hand with the weight. But either way, I'm making sure I'm anchoring that right hand to the floor. Four more, just like that. Four, good. Three, feeling the outer edge of that right butt cheek and outer thigh, two. Last one, you're gonna hold it at about a 45 degree angle and just give me little pulses, little pulses. It's those little pulses that make the biggest burn. So just keep pulsing it for eight, seven, six, five, you got four, three, two, hold, little circle, small circle, small, small, small. So here's your burn, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, reverse your circle, reverse, 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 it's burning, eight, seven, six, five, Where's my stretch, Shira? It's coming. Hold. Bring that leg forward. Up and around. Good. Bring that leg forward. Up and around. Nice. Bring that leg forward. Up and around. Notice nothing else is moving. My bottom leg is anchored. My upper body is anchored. It allows me to get the best stretch out of my hip flexors. And I'm also still feeling that right outer thigh and butt. We're just gonna reverse that circle, good. So I bring it up, forward, down, around, and back. Up, forward, down, around, and back. Up, forward, down, around, and back. One more, up, forward, down, around, and back, good. Coming to lie on my back, taking the right leg over, that right foot over the left knee, pull through just to feel that stretch. Nice, so it's a nice stretch of that outer thigh. Good. Hugging your knees into your chest, you're gonna roll like a ball. One of my favorite moves, just cause it's fun. Each time a little higher. Last one, good, till you come to that seated position. We're gonna lengthen out our legs. You're gonna take that band to the ball of your left foot this time. Good. You should be facing the opposite direction as I am, which worked out perfect, and you know I love a smooth transition. So both ends of the band are in my left hand. Scoop in your abs, round your spine slightly. Pull that left elbow back and center. Pull that elbow back and center. Good. So my right butt cheek is anchored into the mat. It's not releasing. Good job. Elbow pull back and center. Elbow pull back and center. Nice. Elbow pull back and center. Exhale, pull back and center. Four more. Four. Good. Three. You'll have to wait for this playlist for Friday when I'm doing a hold. Right hand to the fan. I'm doing a class at 5.30 to 6.15, Pilates class. Close out that week, go into the weekend together, being kind of nice. Not quite sunset Pilates, but somewhat. Good job for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and come all the way up. Good. So 
I'm going to turn to face you. You could say however works best for you. My right knee is bent. My right knee is pointed up to the ceiling. My left foot is flexed and lifted. I open out to the left and bring it back to center. I open my leg out to the left and bring it back to center. Again, we are working our abductors on the out, adductors on the in, flexing that foot, so feeling a nice stretch in the arches of our feet. It's an often neglected part of the body, right? The arches of our feet. But yet, they're the foundation to our bodies. Think about it. All your weight when you stand are on your feet, which is often why, you know, flat-footed people have knee issues because they don't quite have that arch. So it's quite nice when you have the opportunity, take it to stretch those feet. Good. Four more just like this. Four. Open, close. Three. Nice. Open, close. Two. You got one more. So good. Now we're going to come lie on our sides. Oh, yes. That side like series now. Good. So I'm coming down on my side. My left hand is holding the band. My, right, my left knee bends in and presses up. Good. Now remember, you want to pull in your abs as that knee draws in towards you. You want to keep that foot hip height. So we're not only working our outer thigh glute on the left, but you have to be mindful of those abs. You're drawing them in. As that knee comes in, those of you that take chair, think about that move, right? You're pressing down on the pedal. Same thing here. You're pressing out with that band in the same way you're pressing down with the pedal. As that pedal comes up, as that band draws in, you have to pull in your abs to engage your core. If you don't know what I'm talking about, when all this is over, you must come to Cool Out Yoga and try out um, the chair classes here. Because then you'll understand what I'm talking about and you'll appreciate how that Pilates, you know, we take it to, from the floor to the machines, the machines to the floor. You got four more just like this. I know you know what I'm talking about, Barry. You love those machines. Good. Hi, Lisa. Miss ya. Two more. Good. Hopefully Susan's on here. Hold that leg out, hold. And little pulses up. So your legs right now at a 45 degree angle and you're just pulsing it. Pulse, 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 pulse. You got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold. Little circles, circle, circle, circle. Ooh, I'm feeling the burn. Good. So shoot me on a message, a text. Let me know what prop you're in the mood for, for Friday, reverse. We'll see who's the winner, right? If you don't text me or message me, then you can't be upset if what you wanted wasn't chosen. Good, you got eight, seven, six. We're gonna increase the range. Four, three, two, hold. Bring that leg forward, up, and around, nice. Bring that leg forward, up, and around. Good. Forward, up, and around. Forward, up, and around. Forward, up. Two more just like this. One more. Good. And then you're going to reverse. Back, up, forward, and around. Back, up, forward, and around. Again, I'm not wiggling my hips. I'm anchoring them. Good. Two more just like this. Back and around. One more. So good, everybody. Nice. Take that band off. Lie on your back. Cross your left ankle over the right knee. Pull through and hold. Feel that stretch. Nice. Good job, everybody. 
So we're gonna bring the soles of our feet together, hips open wide right now. I want you to feel. So I often say imprint your back into the mat. Here, I'm gonna lift my shirt. But notice right now, I don't want this. I actually want you to arch your back. Yeah, I want you to arch it. So it's kind of like you're getting a back extension, but you're on your back instead of your belly. You're gonna reach your arms overhead, feeling the opening of your hips and feeling that arch of the back. We did a lot of hip openers for today. So you should be able to feel your hips a little more open than you normally would. Good. Just take a deep breath in and exhale, nice, good. So now I'm gonna bring my hands to the floor and then I'll just lift my glutes up, but I'm still keeping my hips open and lower down, nice. Inhale, exhale, squeeze up, good. Still keeping the opening, still feeling that stretch. Two more just like this. Exhale, lift up and lower. One more. Exhale, lift up, hold. Reach your arms back and bring them forward. So, unlike when we're in a normal glute bridge where our knees are parallel, let me see if you can appreciate how open my hips are right now. I'm keeping my hips lifted, like squeezing, and I'm just bringing my arms back and forward. And forward and back for four. Good. Three. Nice. Two. One more. Good. And then slowly lower yourself all the way down. Nice. You're going to drop your knees to the left, arms come to a T, and look to the right. How good does that feel? So you feel that stretch all along from your lower back across into your obliques, all along those transverse abdominal muscles. Nice. Then we're going to drop our knees to the right, and you're going to look left. Now, this class is about the stretch. So stay with me. Take it to the finish line because the reward is great when you end standing to see how much you've progressed. Good. So you're gonna bring the hands to the same side as your knees. Push yourself all the way around into a four-point kneeling position. Good. I'm gonna look up for a cow, a cow stretch and then draw in my abs around my back like a cat. And then exhale, look up. And then inhale, draw in. Two more. Exhale, lengthen that spine, look up. And then draw in. One more. Exhale, look up, hold. Curl your toes, lift your knees, and hold to a hover. Just hold here. I'm feeling a nice stretch in my feet again. My abs are working. My arms are working. Hold for four, for three, for two, and one. Lengthen out your legs, trying to draw your heels down. Lift your hips up for the downward dog position. Feel that stretch. Come high on your toes. Bring your body forward to a plank. Drop your thighs down. Release your toes for back extension. So a little mimicking yoga here, but there are some parallels, but you know, they are different. Curl your toes, lift your knees, lift your hips, drop your heels, hold. I'm going for the stretch here. Good job. Lift your heels up nice and high. Move your body forward to the plank. Look up, drop your thighs, release your toes. Nice. One more time, curl up, lift your knee. Good, feel that stretch, hold. Walk your hands about six inches in. Try to see if you can drop your heels a little lower feeling a little bit more stretch in those hamstrings. 
Walk your hands another six inches. Good. Feel a little bit more stretch. Walk your feet hip distance apart. So that even that increases your stretch. Walk your hands to where your fingertips meet your toes. Do you remember where you started class earlier tonight? Look how much length you've created in your hamstrings in just this 45 minutes that we've been together. Be proud of yourself. Scoop in your abs slowly with control. One vertebrae at a time stacking. Good. Shoulders come up, back and down. Release. Inhale, arms up. And exhale. Thank you so much for ending your day with me. Feel free to stay on and chat. Good. I'm going to unmute everybody. You can unmute yourselves here on um, the big screen. So good. Maybe feel free to talk to me if you can. Hi, Beverly. I can't hear you. Yes. Oh, now I can. Good job. And then my live feed people. Hi, Sharon. How you doing? Good work, Belle, Lisa, Beverly. It was so special to see you in the parking lot today. Seeing, I know, right? Hi, Lisa. You know, it's so funny, like, seeing people live now. It's like you, you just want to hug them, but you can't. And it's, like, bittersweet. But, um, you know, it all is special to me. Here you go. Here's my face. So, hi Anastasia, great job. Hi. hi. There's my friend, my dermatologist friend, Amanda. She's been totally out of her element. She's been rocking it. She's gonna be rocking the bikini because she only dances. Good job. Beverly's not leaving till I sign off because she just wants to be with me. I love it. <laughs> Thanks for a great call. Oh, you're welcome. Hey, Steve-O. Thank you, Steve. Steve is a paramedic in Tenafly. Thanks for being out there on the front lines for us. And um, really appreciate it. Like from the bottom of our hearts here. Hi, Ariel. I know you're on both feeds. Love you, Beverly. Bye. I'm going to end the meeting. Thank you, guys. Great work. And good. I'm going to end the live feed, too. So thanks again. Dave Horn, my biggest fan. Rifka. So happy you're finally able to join me for a live. You know, like you're never able to because you're always freaking working. Another one of our doctor friends, Dave and, you know, Rifka out there. Good job. Love you guys. See you soon.